everybody, this is Marissa from Marissa Moments Podcast, where I come to you with real life stories and their healing translations. So let's get into it. I've been having some pretty shitty days. Now, I know we've already discussed that everything is up to interpretation, perspective, all of those things. Well, for me, I considered it to be pretty shitty. I was down in the dumps, anxiety, triggers, depression, all of those types of things. Again, as an aside, I never said I was perfect. I'm human. That's why I'm healing while I heal. We're all in this process together. Anyway, back to it. So I'm going through these days and I'm just like, you know, fuck it all, right? (laughs) Like I'm over it. I'm so tired. I'm exhausted. I'm all these things. And then all of a sudden it's like out of nowhere, yeah, quote, air quotes, nowhere, I start getting these DMs, right? And they're just random people that are just like, hey, how's it going? Now, mind you, nine times out of 10, I can tell where people's motives are coming from, especially when it's mainly guys that are in my DMs just with the hello type thing or hey, beautiful or all those types of things. Now, that isn't a humble brag. It just is what it is, right? Anywho, I'm getting all these messages and I'm just like, what in the French toast? Anywho, why am I telling you all this? Oh, I know, because let's get to the translation part, shall we? So bottom line is this. This was the download I received when I was trying to like basically transmute all of this energy that I was feeling into something positive, look for the lessons and all of that, right? Because at the end of the day, there's always a lesson behind every shitty moment. You just got to be willing to kind of sit still and look for it. Anywho, getting to the point again. Sorry, y'all. I get sidetracked very easily. Anywho, so (laughs) the download was this. You got to beware of the uh, breeders, feeders, and healers, right? So there's these different types of people. And the breeders are the people who look for your shitty moments and they want it to multiply because they're breeding it. They're like, yes. And the feeders, pretty straightforward. You know, you've probably heard of energy vampires, something along those lines. So they feed into anything that is negative that you are experiencing because at the end of the day, it kind of gives them life. And then you have the healers, which are the light workers, the star seeds, the empaths, the genuine, compassionate, empathic, all of those things type of people who actually want to see you succeed and turn things around. Now, that doesn't mean to provide fake, toxic positivity to kind of throw a flower on top of your pile of shit, it means that they sit there, they hold space, and they actually genuinely want to see you heal and do better. It doesn't mean that they're going to hold your hand all the way down that road, but they will, in fact, point you to your own power. So why am I saying all of this again? I'm telling you this because You got to be mindful of the people that you share your vulnerable moments with. When you're in these spaces of darkness and depression, who are you feeding your stories to? Are you going to breeders, feeders, or healers? Be mindful of it because (laughs) there's only one out of the three that's going to get you to where you actually want to be. But I mean, what do I know? This is me talking about my own experiences. Maybe you like feeling shitty. Hey, everybody has their thing. But anyway, that's it for today. So as always, I if this message resonates, then that means it's for you. And if not, that's cool too. Just keep it pushing. Either way, I thank you for listening and I wish you the best day ever. Until next time, you know the vibes. Peace.